Hey guys, it's Way here, and welcome back to another video. Now, if you guys do play Ultimate Team, then you will know that yesterday, brand new International Man of the Match cards were released. I believe there were 10 overall. Also, three new Man of the Match cards were released, and those were Payet, Hernandez, and someone else who I can't quite think of right now. But uh, yeah, there are loads of brand new cards, and we have got a foot draft right here. We're going to be trying to get a couple of these brand new cards in the foot draft. I'm also going to be playing the foot draft, which is pretty rare for me. I very rarely play it in my videos. But anyway, we've got Baresi, Budrigueno, Vieira, Gattuso, Weyer, Bayer, and Lalas all available in the draft. So we're going to enter right now with 15,000 coins. And we're going to pick a formation probably to try and win the draft. So I'm going to go with this formation here. I mean, we've got the 3-4-2 one. If we're going for like a 190 or something, that's what I take. But we're not going for a 190. And there are a lot of midfielders who do have... Uh, these brand new cards so I'm gonna go with this one here and it also is one of the best formations on the game so captain choice we're gonna take the 98 Messi uh, I think that's probably the best option there and now I'm gonna actually I'm not gonna do the reserves I'm going to go straight into the team and hopefully this is gonna be Ronaldo it is Ronaldo it's the 96 Ronaldo and I'm gonna take that 96 Ronaldo so up front I don't really mind if we could get a I was going to say if we could get like a Hernandez or something, the new man of the match guy, that would be good, but we don't. We do get 93 Lewandowski or Tevez. I've not used Tevez, and he actually looks insane. So I'm going to take Tevez to get that link to Messi. Moving into the midfield, we get Marquisio, we get Pastore, who will get a link there to Messi. We could take Pastore. We could also take Marquisio, though, and I will take Marquisio because he's a great player. He also gets a lot of strong links to uh, the likes of... I was just hoping for a Team of the Year Pogba to come up, and then I was going to say likes of Team of the Year Pogba. But we will take Iniesta there. He's going to get a strong link to Messi. Now, we could get someone like Chiellini. That would be great because he'd kind of just sort the chemistry out, really, for Marquisio. But I will take Ben Yat right here. He's got a really nice card as well, so I'm going to take him. He should be pretty good to use. PK Man of the Match card, I'll take that. I've not had a chance to use that card, so that should be quite good to use. We get Hector Bellerin. Who I'm going to take over Carvalho. Carvalho slightly better for chemistry. But I, Bellerin still gets the two links there. And we should be able to get some more BBVA defenders. So next up we get Wellington. And that is a BBVA defender. He would get a good link to someone like Felipe Luis. But we don't get that. We do get um, Evra. Now I could take Evra or I could take Caceres. Caceres is the better player. If you look at it. He's got... Uh, well actually is he. He's got much better pace. Better defending. Better physical. But worse... Passing and worse dribbling. Well, how tall is he? He's six foot medium high. He's five foot eight. He's a lot taller, Casera. So even though he's not as good going forward, he's definitely very good defensively. I'll leave the goalkeeper position because I'm not too sure. Like I don't know what other centre back we have. If we get someone like Chiellini, I want to then take someone like Buffon. Here we don't really get anyone worth going with. I'm going to take Gilboji because I want to get like a higher version of any of those cards there. We get the first of the international man of the match cards. We get Di Maria. That is an awesome player. The best one we could have got as well. So hopefully we can get uh, another one or two. We get Payet but not the uh, right version. We get Kadira who uh, he could get a link to Marquisio. He actually could get a link to Marquisio but I have Ronaldo there. So basically we need a striker. I'm going to take Bale and maybe play him as a striker because if I do this, then he will get Ronaldo on full chemistry. But who do we get right now? We get another one. We get Martinez. Now we have Salah. We get we get no one else who'd really work in the team. And we get another of the international man of the match guys. And that actually looks sick. Joseph Alexander Martinez. 91 pace. 87 dribbling. Looks like an absolute beast. Who do we get? Now we get Pogba. Oh my god. This draft is turning out very, very nice. Okay, so... We've got him in there, swap them around. That gets me up to 83 chemistry. Look at that midfield, 89 Marquisio. We've got the 92 Pogba, and we have got Andres Iniesta. I mean, if I wanted a draft to win the foot draft, this is probably it. I mean, the midfield is where the game's won and lost, really. And with a midfield like that, I think I've probably got the best midfield I could have. But we get Galvez, who would actually get a strong link to Dilboji if I wanted. We also have uh, Lopez. However, I already have a right back. So I'm actually going to take this guy here just in case I get a, a goalkeeper in the Bundesliga because that would give me an option there. Felipe Anson, I'm going to take the Fanta, the Fanta card, I think. No one else works. So yeah, we're going to take Fanta, Felipe Anson, bit of a super sub, 94 pace. And next up, we do get Payet, but do we go with that card there? Actually, I think we, ha we should go with this card because I don't have any other like 
midfield or forward possession, so I'm not going to get the new the new pirate card. So I'm just going to take that one there. We do get them, City. We also get Maxess. Now Maxess is a good player. I think that is a good option because he can go in here, swap them round. That gets uh, Pogba on good chemistry. Gets Maxess on good chemistry. And now, if I get Ariola's team of the season card, it would be perfect. If I get Ariola's team of the season, we get. We get Viedveld. He actually gets strong links to both Dilbodji and Galvez, so we could take him. Adler could get them on slightly worse chemistry, so could Horn. I'm going to take him, and we could have a bit of a hybrid going. But if we can get, like, just anyone who links between the two, we get Diego Alves. Now, Diego Alves would get a strong link to Wellington. I could use Wellington at centre back instead of PK and then sub him on, but that would lose chemistry to Bellerin. Mandanda would get the strong link to. Uh, no, a weak link to Mexes, sorry. But Mexes would then get full chem. PK wouldn't. Whereas if I took uh, Alves, then PK would get full chem and Mexes wouldn't. So. Do we, we don't have a, uh, a, goal, a centre back who is Italian. No, we don't. Okay, so. I'm thinking Mandanda. He's the best player there. So that gets us 93 chemistry, which is not too bad. I mean, we've got kind of a bit of a shambles up here, but I mean, hopefully we can sort it out a bit. Hopefully we can swap this about. Okay, so actually if I put Di Maria there, that gets Tevez on full chem. He gets on six, which is not bad. Okay, so have we got a Spanish right back? No, we don't. Have we got someone who could... What happens if he goes in there? That goes down by six. Um, actually, if we put Ben At in here... No, that still gets us 99. I think that's probably the best we can do. We have an insane bench. Payet, Ronaldo and Bale. So, I'm going to put all these players on the bench. We're going to pick a manager as well. And let's see. What rating can we actually get here? Can we get a 190? Can we actually get a 190? That would be pretty cool if we could. I don't think we're going to. I'll just put him on. I mean, we still have a very, very nice bench. I'm going to put Martinez in then for Del Boggi right here. Pick the manager, and hopefully I'm going to get full cam. Yeah, that gets me full cam. That doesn't boost anyone. That doesn't boost anyone either. That does. Okay, so what does that do? That gets 8 cam on Marquisio. Gets um, 10 on all the defenders and all the other Serie A players. That gets um, 7 on Di Maria. And then, who was it? Was it Maxes? No, um, not Maxes. Yeah, Maxes gets full chemistry there. So does Pogba. Mandanda gets slightly better. I'm going to take, um, who was it? This guy here. He gets more, a more kind of boost to everyone. So that is the team built. It's taken about 10 minutes to actually build the team. But that is a nice team. That is a very nice team. Look at that selection of players. We've got a lot of blue cards. I reckon we can go quite far in this. Actually, PK does get full chem. Yeah, what was I talking about? PK has full chem because he gets a hyperlink there. So, that looks very nice. I mean, I have got some good players to come on off the bench. The likes of uh, Martinez, though. We've got some good super subs. But that midfield, seriously, looks insane. The strike force, again, looks amazing. Di Maria, I've heard a lot of good things about him. And uh, I can obviously bring Ronaldo on later on in the game if need be. Overall, that team looks very good. Other than maybe like Maxes and Caseras aren't the best. But other than that, awesome looking team. I'm just going to quickly add the player instructions. And uh, yeah, I'll be back in a minute. And we can get on into a game with this amazing foot draft team. So here you go, guys. This is going to be our opponent. What team does he have? He has a 188. Wow, that is a good team. He has got. He's not got the best of keepers, 77 rating. Not the best of defences. Quite slow centre backs, but an amazing strike for Suarez. Ronaldo, man of the match, Bale as well. Very nice midfield. I reckon we've got a slightly better team than him, but it should be a good game. So, uh, yeah, let's go on into the game. Okay, so he's paused it already. So, I'm actually going to just take a moment quickly to uh, change my custom tactics. And uh, this is actually a really good tip. Change your custom tactics. Try and copy the ones I'm using here, which is 67. If I can even get 67. 67 for speed and passing. Put all these up uh, there to just uh, like just over 50 really put free form there and then bring the pressure uh, and aggression all the way down to about 20 turn that to cover and that's it that is a very very good tip guys make sure you do do that if you uh, want to make your team just work slightly better in game and Ronaldo has just mugged us off down there 
doing some skills. We tackle him though. Good tackle there from Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi plays the ball through. Messi plays that on. Come on, who is that? Is that Tevez? Shield the ball. Finish that. What a save by the keeper. First opportunity though of the game does go to us and it's a very, very good shot and a very good save. No, Ronaldo through. Ronaldo through. Ronaldo hits the crossbar. Terrible defending. Great block there from the bicycle kick actually from someone on my opponent's team. I think that was Bale with the bicycle kick, but that was pretty close. Good challenge. I think that was Caceres. Ref, that's got to be a foul. How is that not a foul? Great tackle there, I believe, from Max. That plays it through to Pogba. Pogba. Pogba, that was a bad touch. Ronaldo on the ball for my, for my opponent. Plays it through. Iniesta through on goal. Great save by Mandanda. That is why I picked Mandanda. The 91 rated keeper. Not used him yet. And this is the first game with him. And that was a great save from him right there. I know no one likes this, but I'm going to put someone on the line. Actually, I think he's going to go to this post here. No, he's not. He's, he's laid the ball off. Great block, though, by the wall. Tried a cheeky uh, cheeky layoff free kick. What's he going to do here? He plays the corner short. Dive in a bit too much with Iniesta. No. No, this is looking dangerous. Plays it to the top of the box. That's a penalty. I should not have dived in there. I, I pressed B and I gave away a penalty. Okay. Face him. Go that side. Oh, my God. I shouldn't have tackled him there, though. I should not have tackled him. I was behind him. I went in for the tackle. And, uh, yeah, we are 1-0 down. Okay, who wants to take the free kick? Who do we have? Wow, 99 free kick accuracy for Messi, 96 shot power, and 92 for Tevez. I'm going to be taking it with Tevez. I like his stance too. Bang that. That was on target, I think, but the wall does block it. But I will take that. We get a corner. I'm going to play this short to Iniesta. Wait for him to dive in. Scoop turn around the back. He is out the game. Full roll. Shoot. That was a bad touch. He did knock it ahead a bit too much, but... That is another good opportunity. I think we can get a goal and we can get back in this game. Now, I don't know. He's through again. He gets past everyone. And how? Actually, how does that get in? That, that went near post. Literally, he went past every single player. I was just spamming B. And literally, he just pushed everyone off the ball. Put that into the near post, top corner. And we're 2-0 down. Ronaldo. Ronaldo, he's turned me. The ball's gone straight through. Oh, my God. <laughs> How, this is why I don't bring foot draft videos where I actually play them to my channel because we're 3-0 down 27 minutes into the game. I cannot defend on this game. He's going to do some more button bashing and get the ball back with Iniesta who just <laughs> completely plays it to the wrong player. But we have Iniesta on the ball again. Play the ball out wide to Messi. Messi spots the run by Tevez. Plays it across. Tevez swept that. You've got to score that. Oh, 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 what? Guys, that is not my fault. I tapped B, I tapped B, no power, and that is Di Maria, who actually managed to hit the crossbar in an open goal. Seriously, that is the international man of the match, Di Maria, and he's just missed an open goal. Things go from bad to worse here. Ronaldo's just been played through, and this is not all we want, but Iniesta makes a great tackle. Plays it back to Maxes. Maxes to Bellerin. Pogba on the ball. Okay, uh, that's meant to shield the ball, but don't. Good block, and he's got a corner. 45th minute corner. I mean, this could, anything could happen here. This could probably go in if he shoots from right there. Yeah, ni ni nice skills here. This guy is just trying to button bash and do skills, and literally none of them have uh, pulled off. Okay, Iniesta. I don't know what's happening. I pressed X to just do a first-time pass from Iniesta to switch the play, and... Uh, for some reason he didn't do that, but we get the ball back with Iniesta. I wanted to pass it the first time with Iniesta, but somehow other ideas here. He hits the bar for the second time in the game. This game has not been going very well. I've hit the bar from a tap in. I've Ser Iniesta in real life is known to have one of the best touches in football. Yeah, in this game here. He can't actually control like a simple pass, and he can't pass either, so FIFA 17 needs to fix the passing, like seriously. And I'm looking forward to the uh, full reveal trailer tomorrow, to actually see, okay, he, he's brought on Di Maria, and I've not been impressed by Di Maria personally, so I'm going to take my Di Maria off of uh, Ronaldo right there, 
This midfield, like, literally should be really good, but it's just not been. I'm going to put Pogba in the middle because he's more of a kind of presence in the midfield. And I'm going to put Payet in for Iniesta because he's just generally better than him. Obviously, he's a team of the season card, so he kind of has, like, the boosted stats all round that you need. But, um, I mean, he got three goals in this half. I could have easily had three goals. I mean, Di Maria missed a tap in. And if we get a goal here, some good play. Tevez on the ball. Tevez, ball roll. Tevez. Tevez with the goal. What a banger from Carlos Tevez. Puts that straight into the top corner. Really tight angle as well. What a finish from Tevez. And we're back in this. 3-1. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling it. I think we can get back in this game and hopefully win it. That's a nice goal from kickoff. Nice passes. Nice bit of... Uh, Play there with the passes. Tevez does a ball roll and puts that into the top corner. Really, really nice goal right there from Carlos Tevez. Gets the ball back. Plays it back to PK. Quick one, two. PK play that into the midfield. Marquisio on the ball. Marquisio plays that into Tevez. Tevez plays a quick one, two. Pogba. Pogba's making a run. Great ball to Pogba. If Pogba hit that, that was close. I thought that was going in near post, but Pogba's got amazing long shots. So I think I'm going to shoot a bit from range because. We've got some great players at, uh, at long shots in this team. Tevez plays that to Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Messi. Messi. Scoop turn. Messi. Hit that. Messi. What a save by Neuer. I don't know what version of Neuer that is. It might be team of the year Neuer, but we've got a corner. Play that short to Payet. Payet does that player and crosses the ball in. That's Pogba on the header, but he doesn't manage to get it. I've given the ball away. Sloppy touch there from, I believe, Bellerin. And that is Ronaldo through. Tries to play a quick pass. Good interception there by, I don't know who that is. Terrible pass by Maxes, But I think Bellerin has got the pace. Bellerin, that is where 99 pace definitely comes in handy. And we've got a free kick from 34 yards out. And we've got Carlos Tevez. We've also got Dimitri Payet. Wow. How does Dimitri Payet have 86 free kick accuracy? He is probably the best free kick taker in the world at the moment. Okay, so Tevez put that top corner. What a save onto the bar from Neuer. That was an amazing free kick. Tevez has been very, very good so far. Really good finish uh, in the uh, game just after the uh, half-time break. And also, he was very, very good earlier on in the second half. And he has got very nice free kicks. But that is bail through. That is bail through. That is dangerous. He sweats it. And obviously, he scores the sweat, but I don't. <laughs> and his was uh, right in the roof of the net too. But we are now... 4-1 down, and I don't really think we're going to be getting back into this game. That is his first kind of proper attack of this half, too. Ronaldo Merck, that guy, but doesn't get past that player there. Tevez on the ball. Tevez, nice Cruyff turn. Plays that in. Scoop turn didn't come off there, though, for Ronaldo. A good tackle there from Maxes. Maxes has been impressive at tackling. Not very good on the ball. So we play the ball back to PK, then plays the ball to Bellerin. Marquisio almost gets intercepted, but now we can start the one twos. Tevez, as you can see, he's quite far back, and it means you can really run at the defence like this. And because of his um, good dribbling and play, he's very, very good in that sort of situation. I press shoot, and he went for the long shot, but then we do get a shot there in with. I don't know who that was. We do get a corner, I believe, from that. Yeah, we get the corner. I'm going to play it short again. Nice drag, but absolutely does that player. Breaks his ankles. Piat's through. Piat plays it across. And we hit that, and we hit the bar for the second time in this game. And then the header goes wide there from Pogba. But this game, how many chances do I need? Like, I've hit the bar from a tap-in. I've hit the bar from just playing across there, which was basically a tap-in. Only 28 y yards out this time. I'm not going to go for the power free kick. I'm just going to try and curl this in. Not much power. There we go. And it's blocked off the line. That was going in as well. A nice ball up. Messi plays that on. Maxes is playing up front and plays that through to Messi. Messi with the step overs gets past two gets past another Messi bang that what a save by his keeper his keeper has been amazing and that is a terrible touch from whoever that is but Bellerin gets past one Bellerin hit that Bellerin off the bar off the underside of the bar for the second time I don't believe in scripting but this this has been quite a quite a unfair game in in my aspect we get the ball with Pyre Second half, this team has been very good. Marquisio with the ball. Marquisio bangs it, and that is wide of the post. Seriously, this second half, I've been all over him. All the opportunities have been going my way. Hit the bar twice in this half, once in the first half. And it's just been my, my lack of clinicality, really, if, that, if that's a word that has let me down. But, uh, yeah, he does miss that opportunity there with Bale. It's probably going to be the last attack of the game right here. 
We get the ball there and I play it all the way up to Bale, which is retarded. We do make the challenge and we make another challenge and he gets the ball back and hits it over. This guy's not been very good at finishing either. But um, yeah, he, he seems to go for a lot of power and I've gone for too much power and I've hit the bar twice. We do get a counter attack. The game does end though. I mean, I don't really know what to take from that. 4-1. I think I play better than my opponent. So we get man of the match with Tevez getting the one goal assist from Ronaldo. But if you look at that, five shots, six on target from Tevez. Tevez's team of the season card was amazing and I really liked using him. I'm going to probably pick up at least like an informed Tevez. I probably can't afford the team of the season, but he was great. We look at passes completed, 18 out of 18 for Tevez. Tevez was seriously amazing. He was top of the charts really for all of these different stats. Tevez was absolutely insane, guys. So... If you've got a spare, however many hundred thousand coins he costs, go and try him out. An amazing player, but we get 444 coins from that. As you can see, I had just uh, one shot less than him, one shot less on target. In the second half, I definitely improved. I had 38% possession in the first half, but once I got into the game, I had a lot more shots. There we go. Let's see what sort of prize we do get. We get two gold packs and we get a silver players pack. So I'm not expecting anything big from these, but let's see what we get. You never know. People have packed Ronaldo in these packs, and we've packed Scott Parker. Here we go, next pack. Who are we going to get? I'm not going to look. I'm going to look at my spotlight up here. I'm going to look down, actually. I'm going to cover the screen with my controller. And we get... I'm going to cover the screen with the controller still. We get... Who do we get? Boateng. Kevin Prince Boateng. Probably sells for the moment, so I'll sell, send him to the transfer list as well as the uh, contracts. But one last pack. Silver pack. Are there some silver cards some silver international man of the matches maybe there is maybe we can pack one no we don't we get Aulis Halson he probably sells for a bit so I'll just send him to the transfer list and I will quick sell the rest of that so that's going to be the end of the video guys hopefully you did enjoy a bit of a different video to normal I don't often do foot draft and I don't often play the foot draft either but uh yeah hope you guys did enjoy a bit of gameplay in today's video and uh, yeah I'll see you in my next video take care